Yo, yo, this is Ref Kessel coming at you today. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a video um, about RFK, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. Talking about how he was addicted to drugs at the age of 14. He actually got addicted to heroin and how God helped him get off the heroin. When nothing else would change his life, he turned to God. So check this out. It's a powerful testimony. What is your relationship and uh, what is your understanding of God? Who is God? Um, let's say this. I had, when I was, I was raised in a very, very deeply religious setting. So we went to, um, church in the summer, oftentimes twice a day, morning mass. And we went to, we definitely went every Sunday and we, um, and I went, we prayed in the morning, we prayed before and after every meal, we prayed at night, and my father read us the Bible um, when, whenever he was home. He would read us, you know, we'd all get in the bed and he'd read us the Bible stories. Um, when I, I became a drug addict when I was about 15 years old, about a year after my dad died, and I was addicted to drugs for 14 years. During that time, when you're an addict, you're living against conscience. And when you're living, and I never, you know, I, I was always trying to get off of drugs, never able to, but I never uh, felt good about what I was doing. And um, and when you're living against conscience, you kind of push God to the per peripheries of your life. I felt like I could do anything with my willpower, but somehow this particular thing, you know, the, the addiction was completely impervious to it. And I, it was cunning, baffling, baffling, incomprehensible. I could not understand why I couldn't just say no and then never do it again like I did with everything else. I said to myself, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be like a drug addict who was wanting a drug all the time and just not being able to do it. I wanted to completely realign my, my, myself so that I was somebody who got up every day and just didn't want to take drugs. You know, how do I maintain that posture of surrender? How do I stay surrendered then when I'm, my inclination is to say to God, thanks, God, I got it from here, <laughs> yeah. and drive the car off the cliff again? And uh, so, you know, I had a spiritual awakening, and my desire for drugs and alcohol was lifted miraculously. Uh, and it, to me, it was as much a miracle as if I had, if I'd been able to walk on water, because I had tried everything earnestly, sincerely, and honestly for a, a decade to try to stop, and I could not do it under my own power. And then all of a sudden, it was lifted effortlessly, and um, you know, so I saw that evidence, uh, early evidence of God in my life, and, um, and of the power, and. Um, and I see it now, you know, every day of my life. Yo, yo, I'm back. That was his uh, little short testimony. Uh, you can find more online about his uh, testimony concerning how he was addicted to drugs and stuff like that and how God helped him get off the drugs. But uh, it's powerful, man. This guy is running for president and he's doing really good in the polls right now. So I encourage everybody to get out there and vote. Uh, I think he's a really good option or a choice. Uh, I hope you check them out. Uh, God bless you guys. I love you guys.